Tlingits in southeast Alaska honor their native language and consider it inseparable from their cultural identity as native people. But the language, classified as endangered, is quickly disappearing. By the time the, the, person, the last person age 70 passes from this earth, the speakers who spoke Tlingit as their first language will disappear from this earth. In order for a language to sur survive, you have to have a community of speakers. Tlingits now provide immersion classes so their children can absorb their culture and native language. It is also important to create awareness so the general public understands the importance of saving indigenous languages. The Perseverance Theater in Juneau, Alaska, took the idea of immersion to a whole new level. Director Anita Maynard Losh, working with Alaska Native actors, performed the play Macbeth in Flinket. The troupe was invited to perform at the Shakespeare and Washington Festival in Washington, D.C., at the Museum of the American Indian in March of this year and it played to sold out audiences. People have asked us, why do Macbeth, Shakespeare, and think it? And I say, why not? Mm -hmm. Why can't we? Who says that we cannot bring that and evolve as artists, as people? Shakespeare's plays, written in iambic pentameter, are difficult to perform and understand in English. But this group took that complexity and added more translating most of the play into Tlingit, a language scholars say is one of the most complex in the world. I don't know if I would be able to really pinpoint how it works. Um, I think it just does. There's something about the Tlingit language that informs a different physical reality on mm -hmm. stage um, that brings something fresh to the Shakespeare language, because the story is still there. It's not just a direct translation, but it makes sense in the Tlingit world to look at it. Like, Instead of saying, you're crazy, we literally say, you have no water in your head. Hmm. And so it brings about a part of the culture that we've never touched before. The native actors honored Flinket cultural beliefs to manage the play's darker side. I think we're a lot more sensitive to the language that we're using to invoke things. <laughs> and also to ha have cleansing ceremonies or prayers before or after a show. The audiences have been great, the response of it. Um, I can't be happier. The play will most likely never be performed again, but its actors feel the influence on Flinget and other languages will be far-reaching. Not only is it invigorating and grounding and exciting, but it's it's a way to keep our Tlingit language alive. This production is for people across the world to take a look and see the possibility of who they can be and where they can take themselves and their culture. What can we do now to really bring more of the culture, the language into it? With a growing movement of young people like these to lead the way, the survival of the Tlingit language now seems possible. For Northwest Indian News, I'm Morgan Howard.